everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today, before I get started with the news of the day, um, shout out once again to JJ, who a few days ago was able to provide me with another 10 terabyte hard drive. And I was able to, last night, complete the digitizing of my entire movie library, and uh, it's looking pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit. Uh, the only real things that I technically still have to digitize are some TV series that I have, but I'm willing to hold off on those for now because of a new service I found called Play On, which actually might make that entire process a little bit easier as far as organization and things like that. But shout out to you, good sir, and thank you for that. But now getting into the news of the day, as you can tell here, we have some interesting box office movie theater news, which is that apparently the state of Georgia is looking to reopen movie theaters early next week. So not talking about May, not talking, rather technically it would be around the beginning of May, but not talking about June or July is what many other people had thought would be the process of reopening. I remember I covered that article not too long ago where Cinemark said that they were planning to start the ball rolling around July. First, Georgia is looking to push that up a little bit longer. It'll be interesting to see what the national chains do. It could very well be that Georgia is just looking to reopen local theaters and not major chains. Obviously, the major chains have an option when it comes to these things, but it would be really cool seeing that I'm actually very close to Georgia if they were to start reopening things there because, hey, probably would not be that much of a drive for me to actually be able to go see a movie again, but let's go ahead and dive into this article so that way we can get some more details. So Georgia Governor Brian Kemp announced today that movie theaters subject to special social distancing and sanitation mandates are allowed to reopen next Monday, April 27th. All right, so if you follow the guidelines that have been given, then you will be allowed to reopen. Per CNN, Georgia is ranked 11th in the nation in regards to its cases, which number 18.9 thousand in addition to 733 deaths. There is a debate among federal, state, and local governments about how to reopen the nation's economy as cases continue to spike nationwide in different states. We'll get Georgians back to work safely, said Kemp, who announced a three-phase approach today at a briefing at the state capitol today with the shelter-in-place order lifting on April 30th. It's one, of ex it's one of exercise caution per Kemp and not one which should be perceived as business as usual. So it's just very refreshing to hear this. I know that there's some people in the comment section that are still freaking out over all of this stuff. And again, I do think that we should take it seriously. I do think that we should continue to try and social distance as much as we can. Wash our hands, of course, much better than what we have been doing in the past. And also just be more cognizant and more aware of what we do and the people that we interact with. And if we feel safer wearing a mask or if we're sick, obviously to stay home if we're sick or if we have to go out for any reason to then wear a mask. That way we're not coughing on our hands or coughing on other people because really wearing masks really help people not get other people sick more so than anything else uh, is one of the things that people often don't understand about what masks actually do. On Saturday, Kemp permitted drive-in theaters to remain open, complying with directives. Again, really cool that drive-in theaters are kind of making this weird comeback. I mean, not a major one by any means, but the fact that they are pretty much the only theaters that have been allowed to remain open during this entire thing uh, is pretty cool. Nonetheless, theaters will be allowed to reopen with private social clubs and restaurant dine-in services. That said, bars, nightclubs, operators of music park rides, and live performance venues will remain closed along with schools, which will continue to focus on social distance learning. I will not be going back on that decision, said Kemp, about the closing of schools, which makes a lot of sense because you have a lot of people all right next to each other in desks who are then probably going from class to class to class to class, and it's almost impossible to ask teachers to clean all of the desk in a proper fashion between each class, not to mention it's almost going to be impossible to social distance in a classroom setting when there's such a limited number of seats. Some people might be arguing, well, how is it that these other places are going to remain closed, but places like theaters where you're still also in an enclosed space can somehow remain open? And I think it all comes down to the fact that you can actually, as a business model, socially distance within the theater. You can force that distancing to happen. With that distancing, it makes it easier to go in between screens to clean the seats, and then you do have that open air concept so that it is faster to dry and you can more appropriately clean or wash the seats. Now, do I think that a lot of people are going to run to the theaters and are going to be perfectly fine and, and, and feel like they're going to be safe? No, I think that a lot of people are going to choose to stay home. I know that I'm friends with a germaphobe who is probably not going to go to the theater for another couple of months at least, um, or if he does go, he's going to have masks 
masks and gloves and all this other stuff that I'm talking about you, John. Um, and I think that that is something that is to be expected. However, as someone like me who loves going to the theater, but also understands that the economy needs to start going again because we are having way too many people being negatively impacted by this work-wise. And I do think that certain jobs and occupations can absolutely go back to uh, opening up their doors and to allowing business to continue with these new measures in place, right? With the caveat of, oh, you have to wear a mask if you're going to be coming to work or you have to do this, you have to do that, right? At the very least, if we can at least get back to work, that is something that I am most looking forward to. Gyms, fitness centers, bowling alleys, beauty shops and salons, barber shops, body art studios can open this Friday, April 24th. I think that is interesting that a sum of, especially when you look to gyms and fitness centers can open, but bars, nightclubs, amusement parks can't. Um, there's something a little bit odd about that, especially when it comes to gyms, because gyms are some of the dirtiest places in the world. But again, um, it's, it's, I guess it's up to the, the decision. I'm, I'm assuming that Georgia's governor has looked at the data and has said, okay, but if you look to just where something is more likely to spread, it actually is going to be more of an impact in these places versus others is what I'm assuming. Um, also, when you deal with bars and nightclubs, you're dealing with people that are drunk and acting idiotic. And so you're not dealing with sober people that are going to be making decisions, hopefully making decisions that are smarter versus where gyms, fitness centers, people are more likely going to wash the machines after they've done using them or wash the machines before you use them. So I guess that is kind of the mindset there. Same thing you could say with bowling alleys. You know, these are recreational places and such. So it's interesting, though, that he is going along this line. It's not clear yet which chains will attempt to reopen. Many exhibitors have informed us they'll likely program catalog titles initially and will take implement enhanced cleaning procedures and auditorium capacity limits. Kemp said, we are poised to see a new norm during this climate that technology could be on the horizon, specifically infrared heat-seeking devices when you walk through a certain establishment. Movie theaters among those could put those into use. Uh, again, I don't think taking one's temperature before going to see a movie is going to make people want to go see movies again. Kemp said the state plans to double down on testing given in the reopening and that it meets the current White House criteria to reopen the nation in three phases. The governor's plan on track to meet the criteria for phase one, which includes adequate hospital capacity. All right, so it sounds like the go Georgia's governor is doing everything about as by the book as you possibly can. I, I know that there's some people out there that are going to hear this news and get frustrated by it and say, oh, this is just going to lead to more cases and it's going to lead to another spike and then they're going to have to close again. And, and I totally understand where you're coming from. But then at the same time, too, I look to this and I just see this as a sense of hope. It, it makes me happy to see that at least one state is going to be trying to start to reopen various parts of their economy, including movie theaters, because, again, that's something that definitely piques my interest because of how close I am to their border and I know that I personally would feel perfectly fine and comfortable going to see a movie theater. Would I take precautions? Absolutely. Would I go to a theater that is taking precautions? Absolutely. And I'm sure no theater that isn't taking precautions will be allowed to open. Not to mention, I'm sure that there will be a lawsuit waiting to happen if the theaters reopen and don't follow these guidelines, which is why I do think and speculate that a lot of theaters might not reopen right away. And even though they can open as early as Monday, I imagine some theaters, especially the larger chains, will likely tell their businesses there, hey, let's hold off for now. Let's get a game plan in, in place. Let's make sure we're doing everything by the book. And let's make sure that we're able to uh, you know, destroy any viruses, destroy any bacteria that come through the door, basically, or at the very least, eliminate the chance of transferring of those things um, by the implementation of these things. But anyway, what are your thoughts about this? If you live in Georgia, let me know your thoughts, especially in the comment section below, but also for everyone else. Do you think it's a good idea for Georgia to start to reopen the economy and especially to reopen movie theaters? Do you think that it would be a good idea for me to try and go see a movie in Georgia if indeed major chains closer to the border are able to reopen? Let me know your thoughts about this and everything I mentioned in the comments section below. If you like this video, smash the like button, hit that subscribe. It helps me out a lot. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day and as always... God bless. And now a huge shout out to my April Patreon and Subscribe Star members. We have animation commentator Brian P, Dion, Divex, Elizabeth M, Enrique Evangelista, Father of Christopher Miller, Hail Father, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Wiener Dog Clan, Harold Francis, The Hunker Chunky Funky Monkey, Inflamed Wood, Intertrap Productions, Jason Clark, Jeffrey Toon, JJ Jonathan Jarenbeck, Kenneth Cameo, Lady T, 
Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin with the beautiful hair, Orange Hat Reviews, Outpost Dyer, Perpetual Punster, Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, Theodore Benden, The DJD Show, and Tina B. And to my subscribe star members, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, G2 Cool 99, Dark Star 57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US 888209 Fast, Dean Heiss, Harold Francis, J. Rod the Beer Guru, Nevadon G. Adams, and ZK Man. And out of step with reality, and Albertus Magnus and JJB Net. I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank spot just <laughs> previously in case any more people decide to become a Patreon or Subscribe Star member over the next few days. Uh, just remember that as soon as you sign up, you are immediately uh, eligible for any of the benefits. If you just sign up at the dollar tier on Subscribe Star or Patreon, you get a shout out at the end of every single video, including my live streams. If you're a $5 or up backer on either platform, you get access to exclusive giveaways uh, where I give away several 4K Blu-rays, digital copies every single month. Month as well. If you jump up to the $10 tier on either platform, you get access to all of that. Plus, you get access to an exclusive podcast that I do with my friend John the Flick Pick of John Flickinger and the Flick Pick fame. Uh, we do a bi-weekly podcast, so every two weeks or so we do one. So you get probably about two or three, depending on what's going on. Probably more so now with everything going on in the craziness of our world. Uh, but you do get access to that. Also, if you are at that $10 tier, it means that you get to uh, take part in the Q&A part of that podcast. And so uh, about 24 to 48 hours before the podcast, maybe even longer beforehand, I'll leave a post in the Patreon subscribe star. You'll be able to leave a comment on a question that you want us to answer, on a topic that you want us to cover in a future podcast as well all of that you have access to and if you're a $25 backer and up you get all of those things plus you get a t-shirt for your first month that's right you get a free t-shirt high quality Odin's movie vlog t-shirt uh, so just make sure if you had a $25 and up backer level you leave your address that way I know where to send that to and also I will be messaging you to get your size information that way I can send that out to you as quickly as possible but you also get access to an exclusive chosen of Valhalla live stream that we have once a month on this channel Channel where I invite you to be on the show. You can either show your face or not show your face or, hey, you don't have to show up at all. It's totally up to you. And we talk about a wide variety of things. We talk about movies that you've been watching, modern things going on, the pop culture, and pretty much anything that you yourself want to talk about. So if any of these things sound interesting to you and things that you'd want to do, please hit that Patreon subscribe star link in the description of this video and think about joining today. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And as always, God bless.